guys. Yay. I'm so excited. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so you get to see my face this entire auction. Aren't you excited? Um, so we're going to be doing a variety sale tonight. We're going to have all kinds of things for you. Um, from fall and Halloween stuff to vintage and modern random things. I'm going to have some crystals. I pulled some stuff out of my antique booth. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of jewelry. I picked up some things today at uh, thrift stores. Um, so I have a lot of stuff to go through. Let's see how much we can get through. Um, let's see who's in the chat. I saw Tina with American Honey. She came in earlier today to say hello. Hello, hello. Uh, we have Beverly and Rose and Lindsay. Hi, hi. We have Dee. She says uh, to, hi to Dallas, too. He's right actually in the other room. And uh, Rose said hello to Dallas, too. <laughs> um, he was being very rambunctious, like about 10 minutes before we were supposed to what we were starting. So we had to shut him out of the office. Um, so, okay. We have Margie vintage jewels, gems, and pearls. Hello. Hello. Hi, Andrew. Welcome. Mom is here. Hi, mom. Uh, Romel R and R. Hi, hi. Ella safe here first. Hi, hi. Perla. Hi, Nick and Maria. Hi, Maria. Thelma. Hi, hi. We have Thrift Fancy and Vintage 55. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Um, as usual, I have my um, jot form pinned up at the top of the chat. So if you have never bought from me before and you would like to bid, um, you can fill that out really quickly so that I have your information. Um, if I already have it, if you've already bought from me before, you don't need to fill it out again unless you've moved or, you know, something of your information has changed. Um, hey, Carrie, welcome in. Say hi to Carrie. I got Kyle. He's right here. Hey, Carrie. <laughs> it's far reach for me. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like around my desk. <laughs> Took my chair over. <laughs> Um, hi, Lori. Welcome. So if you see me looking down, I have you guys on my phone as well. So I can kind of see like the lag and stuff like that. Cause on my computer right here, I'm on StreamYard, So I can see the chat on StreamYard, but I also have you guys on my phone. Um, hi, Karina. Um, oh yeah. You're from, uh, Australia too. So is Carrie. That's awesome. Um, hi, Anita. Okay. You guys I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. We are going to do a giveaway, of course, tonight, so maybe even two, maybe even three. Um, and we're going to try a new way. I'm going to try to do it actually right here on StreamYard. Um, if you guys watch the return of Cajun Roots reseller, Johnny, he does the giveaways on StreamYard. And I'm going to attempt to try that myself. Um, and it's just going to be easier than everybody picking a number and like the chat goes crazy and, you know, it's hard for us to like see who gets the number. So we're going to try that um, and see how that goes. Um, if anybody wants to see anything in particular, like whether it be fall, Halloween, um, vintage, modern jewelry, uh, crystals, um, I have some trinkets, like trinket boxes and stuff. So, um, you know, feel free to throw it out there. Uh, hi, Arlene. Welcome. Okay, so we're about five minutes in, and I have some stuff on my desk already. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with that since it's right here, and that way I'll have, like, a clear desk um, after that. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to probably do mostly auction-style um things just to give everybody a fair chance at it, but it'll be like on the lower end of the start bids. Cause I always try to give you guys the best deals. So that is going to be awesome. Yeah. So over there in New Zealand and Australia, you guys are eating lunch already. So, um, yeah, you guys are already in Thursday. So yeah, this is a new night for me. Um, Wednesday, we're going to give it a shot. So let's start with, um, let's start with this. So this I thought was really cute and I thought somebody can use it for jewelry or, um, you know, brooches or something. It's a little dress form. It might be kind of hard to show you guys with this angle, especially if I start doing jewelry. 
Um, and it actually comes, all these are little pins. So you can, you know, choose to use them or not. But it came like that. I think there's one, two, three, four. There's five of them. And I'll do a little measure for you guys. And we're going to start this guy off at just $5. And Kyle's going to put the start bids in for me. It's 13 inches tall, lucky 13. And we're starting it off at just five. This is cloth and, you know, mushy. You have the wood topper and the legs are metal. Okay. Oh, you got your bag today. Awesome. Yay. I'm so excited. Yeah. Hobo International is a great, great brand. A bit cold and miserable. Yeah. It's like over here, the summer it ended and fall is like, I'm here and it has been cold old. So this is 13 inches, little dress form. You can use it for jewelry or, um, you know, sewing things. It does come with five little pins. Hi, Susan. Hi, Nancy. We got Rose in at five. All right. All right. And of course, um, shipping is not included in these prices. Just so you know, I will be invoicing tomorrow, but I won't be shipping until probably, probably Saturday or Monday. So you guys can like combine your orders, um, with the per sale and everything like that. So, um, Hi, Nikki. Oh, yeah, another person from Australia. That's awesome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Susan, I see your bid, but it just has to be $2 increments. So if you're still interested, we would need seven, please. So you got the metal legs and the um, cloth dress form. 13 inches tall, comes with five little pins. You too would feel it in your first winter in a new home. Yeah, apartments seem to be warmer. Oh, yeah. Because especially us, since we were in the middle. So we definitely had, like, it was hot all the time. Um, I'll leave this up just for a couple seconds to see if Susan's still yep, interested. Susan. Oh, she is? Okay, good. Hi, Amber. Welcome. Yeah, but we're in the weird weather, too, where it's 40 in the morning, 70. In the yeah, afternoon. it's, like, really cold in the morning, and then it gets warm in the afternoon. Yep. All right, so we have seven looking for nine. We've got nine. All right. Hi, Lori. Thank you so much. Nine looking for 11. 13 inch dress form, little um, jewelry holder or brooches. This would look great in a curio cabinet with some of your favorite brooches on it or earrings. It's definitely different for me doing a show like this. I usually do um, Roy's shows like this, but not my own. <laughs> um, okay, so I see Rose is in at 11. Thank you. Looking for 13. All right, Lori's in at 13. Thank you, thank you. Looking for 15. And just remember, if you guys are out, please put in out so that we can keep it moving. And then you have the wood top. All right. Thank you, Susan. And Rose is out. I mean, Susan's out. Rose is at 15. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Looking for 17. Yeah. See, it's a little slower uh, stream yard, but that's okay. Yeah. That's why we have it on an alternate device. So Lori's at 17. Thank you. Thank you. And Rose is out. Yep. Thank you. Okay. So that leaves Lori at 17. So let's call it. Oh, wait. Hi, Rosita. So I see you, but um, if you want to come in, it's $2 increments. I probably should have explained that. Sorry. <laughs> $2 increments. Um, so 19 would be the next bid. I didn't even go over all my you rules. Oh, my gosh. That's because I, I'm thrown off by this different view. Because <laughs> usually I have my little cheat sheet over here of everything I have to say in the beginning. <laughs> we'll go over that after this. All right. 19. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Looking for 21. So again, this is 13 inches and um, it's a cloth little form. It comes with these five pins that were already in it. Metal bottom, wood little topper. So, okay, we have Lori in at 21 and then Rosita back in at 23. Looking for 25. I think this banner is like in my way a little bit, huh? 
Let me see if I can get rid of that. Now, let me see how to do that. Maybe I don't know how. Camera, audio, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to do it. So it'll just stay there. You have to switch hands. Um, so, <laughs> so Lori's out. All right. Thank you so much. And let's call it to Rosita for 23. And it's in super nice condition. If I didn't already say that, or if you can't say it's super nice and it came with these little pins in it already. Yeah. Are we going once? Oh yeah. I see yeah. It. We're at fair warning. I just, oh, your autocorrect said feel. Yeah. The iPad <laughs> is weird. <laughs> Super cute. Um, I have to learn how to type on this. <laughs> I know. I told you it was I'm, weird. <laughs> so old. <laughs> All right, Rosita, this is going to you. Thank you so much. First sale of the night. Oh, I, yeah. I am sober. I am just uh, not used <laughs> to typing on an iPad. <laughs> hey, Cindy. Welcome. Okay, so let's go over the rules really quick since I forgot to do that in the beginning. Um, we already went over that you have to register if you have not bought from me before, which is the form at the top of the chat. But if you have bought from me and you already did the form, you don't need to do it again. No problem. Um, the bid increments are $2, like always, $2 up to $50. And then once we get to $50, it's $5, even over $100. Um, then we have shipping is going to be based on the weight of your items and where you're located. Um, I use pirate ship, which allows me to do UPS as well. So whichever is the cheaper option, I will always, you know, do for you guys. Uh, make sure you click the thumbs up. See, I have a cheat sheet. I don't really know all of this. <laughs> click the thumbs up. Make sure you're in live chat, not top chat. Check the top of the chat. Make sure it says live chat so you can see everybody's bids and everybody's comments. And every once in a while, refresh. So if you're on your phone, you can just click out and come back in. If you're on your computer, just click the refresh um, at the top left. Um, I don't know what you would do if you're on your TV, but because um, I've never done that. Yeah, but uh, that's just going to help keep on top of the lag because it is about seven seconds, six to seven seconds. Um, so just to make sure you're seeing everything that's going on and everybody's bids. Hi, Galena. Welcome. Hi, Jabby. Thank you all for coming. Okay, so now that we got the housekeeping out of the way, let's do the next item. So this I thought was really cool. So check out this mug. It's like a stoneware mug. It's got a whale on the front right there that's in blue. It's got the whale tail for the handle. It's in beautiful condition. And then check it out. Oh! You have a little whale inside. How cute is he? Hey, Real Creative, welcome. So it is in super nice condition. I'm not sure anyone even drank out of it, but there is one teeny tiny itty bitty little chip right there. Okay, but other than that, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a little bit smaller of a mug, um, just based on like the shape of it. And we're going to start this guy off at $5. Okay. And hello, everyone that I, if I missed anybody, but I think I got everyone. Okay. And then you have your little whale in there. He's so cute. But remember, there is one teeny tiny little chippy right there. $5 start. Really cute whale tail. And I love the, the glaze on it. Super pretty. No markings or anything. La 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 la. And I'll just keep it up for a couple seconds. I like to keep it moving. All right, we got Angela in at five. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna put this down for one quick second. And check one quick thing. I just wanna make sure I have your information because I don't, I can't always remember everybody's names. So 
I'm going to sign into PayPal and I'm just going to check. Of course, it makes me do all these security <laughs> challenges and everything. Um, or you can tell me if I have your information, but it's so hard to remember everybody. You're lucky because it makes me do it like seven times. When I'm trying uh, to. It's, I mean, I guess I should be happy that there's, um, you know, security on here. Okay. I do have your information. I do. I do just had to check. So let's uh, leave it up for a couple seconds and we'll call it to Angela. Super pretty. All right. Then we are going once. We're going twice. Fair warning. Getting that exclamation point is the worst. <laughs> and we're sold. All right, Angela, that's going to you. Thank you so much. Love that cup. Okay. Next up, we're going to do, <laughs> I have a couple different kitty cat figurines. So if you guys like the kitty cats, here we go. Here's one. Okay. It is kind of like a Siamese cat, I guess you would say. It is made in Japan. It's upside down. All right. He has no chips or cracks. We're going to start him at $5 as well. And I'll give you a little measurement. He is three and a half inches tall. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. Okay, so we have the little kitty cat. Start bid $5 from Japan. No chips or cracks. He's so cute. Little itty bitty kitty cat and um, uh, animal figurines actually do really well in my booth, but I'm going to give this to you guys first. So I'm going to offer this to you guys first. That's hey, cool. Beth, welcome. Yay. Hello, hello. He looks grumpy. A lot of cats are grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks like he's uh, plotting something. Got a little bit of a mm, to his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> super cute five dollar start wish i could get but way too delicate for the long haul yeah yeah he's a little delicate with his little paws we'll keep him up for a couple seconds and then we'll pass and he'll go into my booth no worries i wish i had more of a blank like that to hold them up right all, ca <laughs> all cats are plotting something. <laughs> hey, there's Kimmy. Hi, hi. And Paula. Hi, guys. Speaking of kitty cats, how are your cats? Kimmy. Bronze and uh, silver. Okay, so we'll pass on this little guy. No problem. Put him over there. If anybody's watching the replay, feel free to email me right there. Um... Okay, just checking the chat. Here's another little guy. This is a teeny tiny one. We're going to start him at $4. He's got little whiskies. Look at them. Let me do that. Can you see that a little bit better? And he is also Japan. Version. All right. Hi, Vera. Thank you. Thank you. Four dollars. Looking for six. And let me give you a little measurement on him. He's a little, he's a little cutie. He's about two and a quarter inches long by two inches tall. Okay. And again, no chips or cracks. Meow. Look, I love the whiskers. I think the gray background is a little better. Yeah, I like that. Super cute. Oh, and Margie, if you're in here too, um, I did not ship out. Your package didn't go out today. So if you wanted to um, 
buy anything today or for the purse sale Friday, I will combine your shipping. Um, I have a couple people's stuff still. Um, so, you know, the shipping, I'll just adjust it. 1940s, it might be. Look at his little face. In the 30s and 40s, they did a lot of airbrush uh, ceramics, and this does look like it's airbrushed. All right, so let's call it to Vera for four. Yeah, some of the packages I didn't get, I didn't get to get out. Four months. Going twice. And remember, guys, Friday's that purse one. sale is going to be uploaded in the morning, probably around um, 11 or noon on Friday. Just a reminder. And we're sold. All right, Vera. This little guy is going to you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Last item of the kitty cats I have, also from Japan, I have a little salt and pepper shaker set. And also from Japan with their stoppers. I actually put these in myself. Um, I have a whole um, like a sorted size cork set. Um, so I put these in myself because they do not have them. Um, but here they are. And we're going to start these guys at $6. And one has a little bit of a darker face than the other, but I think these are also airbrushed. Japan. Did you put start bid six? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not coming through on my end yet. <laughs> and I'll give you a little measurement on them. Three and a half inches and slightly under three and a half. Oh yeah, the cart, the corks, forget it. So that's why if you go on Amazon, you can get a whole assortment of sizes and it works. Your little faces. And it has like a shiny glaze. One has three, one has two. La 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 la. Salt and popper shakers. <laughs> that was a reach. <laughs> right. <laughs> We got this little guy. And then his little brother or sister. I'll leave this up just for a couple seconds, then we'll pass on these. Totes adorbs. All right, we shall pass on those. Let's do this little ginger jar thingamajiggy. So this is, um, the stand has a little crack. Let me see where it is. It is wood. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Kinda, it's cracked across right here. But there's not, you know, it doesn't really affect anything. So here's the jar. I guess you would call this cloisonne. We're going to start this at $8. It comes with a lid. It's enameled. It's enameled inside as well. There's no like broken pieces or missing pieces on it. Let me give you a measurement really quick. <laughs> Paula. Yeah, three and a half inches tall. And it's blue, um, like blue florals, super pretty. I love that big flower. And then the top has little white flowers. All right, I see Vera in, thank you so much. Looking for 10. Super cute. Is 
is that a little that's not a chip that's like in the glaze that white hi michelle welcome 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 and then it comes with a little wooden stand but there is a little crack on it but it doesn't you know affect it really it still stands and everything all right we have beth in at 10 thank you so much looking for 12 three and a half inches tall So pretty, oh, so pretty. Vera's back in at 12, looking for 14. Then there's the little stand. It's got little carvings that you can really see it. Beth is out. Thank you so much. Rosita's in at 14, though. All right, all right. Looking for 16. Sometimes I don't know what to do with my face. <laughs> like, I'm just like... <laughs> so I'll just go like that. All right, Vera's out. Thank you so much for your out. So let's call to Rosita for 14. Sure. Yeah, the stand is really cool. I'm glad it came with that. More than once. Take a sip of my water. I'm going twice. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Vera. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Rosita. Yeah. Thank you, Sink. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's because I was reading Paula's comment and I got distracted. <laughs> yes, my arms are definitely going to kill me. You are correct, especially because I'm kind of far away from where, because this is my laptop, but it's on a stand. So, like, the camera is like up there, like up there. <laughs> okay. So, next I have two. Um, like little bluebirds of happiness kind of things. I have a double. All right. I have a double bluebird. Um, it's not marked or anything. And I don't know if the sides are chipped. It's just very like crude kind of. I don't, I've never seen a double one like this. So I don't really know what the sides are supposed to look like but I don't want you to get it and think that it's like all chipped up. No, that's like where they use those glass scissors and cut the base. Yeah, like I think it's it's supposed to be like that because it's, it's like all over, but I just want to throw that out there so, you know, you don't get it and think it's just all chipped up. So we'll, we'll start the double guys at $5. Okay, and no markings. And let's do a measurement. So the base across is three inches and they are two and a half inches tall. Hi, Ishara. Welcome. How have you been? Long time no see. Hello, hello. All right. We got D in at five, looking for seven. Oh, yeah. Their tails are intact and their beaks. So that's what makes me think that the stand is not like the stand is supposed to be like this because I mean, their, their tails are good. Their beaks are good. So, yeah. 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 And then I have the regular bluebird next. I uh, started burning a fall candle today. I'm so excited. 
You mean you went full pumpkin today? Yeah, I did. I went, I went, full, <laughs> I went full fall today. I got a um, really crazy drink from Starbucks, which I don't really get Starbucks. Um, but my sister had gotten this drink. She saw it on TikTok, I think. And she said it was really good. So I decided to try it. Let me put this down for a second and I'll tell you guys what it was. Hi, Haley. Hi, Haley. I beat you to it. <laughs> I said hi first. I was looking down. That's not fair. <laughs> okay, so it's iced chai with pumpkin cold foam. Add caramel drizzle and cinnamon. And this this is the the TikTok um, picture. And it was so good. So stinking good. Okay. So where are we? Let's call this down to D for five dollars. All right. <laughs> Kerry says ill, throw up. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going once. We're going twice. I didn't even know they made pumpkin cold foam. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. A fair warning. But then again, I'm not really all like Starbucks. Like, like I just order regular drinks. I don't order like pumps of this and pumps of that. And <laughs> so. All right, D. These are going home to you. Thank you so much. Okay, and then we have the regular guy. All right, and this one on the bottom says, it's not, I don't think this is a Fenton because it says handmade at Phoenix Studios, Lafayette, Arkansas, but it is signed Ron Ray, 1992. Okay. And so this one's also going to be a $5 start. Oh, you can't even see that label. It's too bright. And then the signature is right there at the top right here. That doesn't really help at all. Right Not there. really. It's okay. Okay. So D will take, I mean, D's in at five on this one too. Thank you. Thank you. Looking for seven. Now let me get the measurement on this. So length, it's four inches. Tall, it's three inches. And if we have nobody in at seven, she'll take it for five. Because like I said, no dilly-dallying. We'll just do a couple seconds. Just a couple seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> okay, let's call it down. All right. I'm going once. I'm going twice. Oh, you you don't have Starbucks in Australia? I'm moving to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I didn't know that. Oh, Anita's in. All right, Anita's in at seven, looking for nine. And remember, this is not a uh, Fenton, right? Is that the one I'm th thinking of? It is handmade at Phoenix Studios, Fayetteville, Carolina, Arkansas. I think what? did I say Lafayette before? I have no idea. Fayetteville, Arkansas. Um, signature is Ron Ray, nineteen ninety-two. Right up there. D's back in at nine. Thank you. Looking for 11. <laughs> Carrie says, come on over, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I like my coffee like my women. Bitter. <laughs> you used to say dark and bitter because I used to be really tan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now it's medium. And, and now bitter. I'm not tan anymore because <laughs> I stopped going tanning. There's Starbucks in New Zealand. Okay, so Anita's out. No problem. Thank you so much. Let's call it to D for nine. Oh, yeah, I don't normally drink Starbucks. This was just like a that one-time drink that my sister made me try. <laughs> I blame her. <laughs> twice. Paula liked your uh, 
<laughs> Coffee reference. I don't know what Bigfoot Java is. And we are sold. Margie, that must be a West Coast thing. <laughs> All right, that's going to you, my friend. D, right? Yep, for $9. All right. So I don't know if we have any um, Wade, Wade England uh, little figurine collectors. Brenda likes Starbucks. Hi, Brenda. D's a Duncan gal. All right. Okay, so I have these um, lots of Wade England figurines. Um, I have three lots. So we're going to, okay, so this one has 10 in it, but this little chicken at the bottom has a little chip on his um, thing on the top of his head right there, but all the rest of them are fine. So this, there's 10 in here and we're going to start this at $5. <laughs> Carrie's amazed that so many Americans have no taste buds. <laughs> Yeah, I'm with Ishara. I've only gotten it a few times. So um, this one, you have like a double doggy. There's that looks like two bears. Um, there's like a little girl right here. There's a horse. There's a ram. Um, there's the chicken with the teeny little chip on him. There's another horse down there. Um, there's a blue goose. So there's, there's 10 in here. Um, there's a zebra. That's not a turtle. Two zebras <laughs> and a horse. No, no turtles in this one. I have two other lots, though, so I will look. I will look. All right, Haley's in for five, looking for seven. Ishara's in for 10. Ishara bumps it up to 10. You got it. Looking for 12. Yeah, the two, yeah, it does look like they're hugging. Look, how cute. And um, I made these lots myself because I bought like a whole a whole big bag and I kind of just divided them up randomly. I didn't put any, you know, special ones with each other's or, or whatever. Haley's in at 12, looking for 14. I think those were used in, in the cereal toys. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We've got another one vouching saying yes. There's, but there's 10 in this one. And all of them are fine, except this little chicken has a teeny itty bitty little chip at the top of his head right there. Lisa says they're from tea bag boxes. Oh yes, I think I've heard that. Hi Lisa. 15 with Ishara, looking for 17. Yeah, there is a horse in there right there. There's that horse, and then there's a white laying down horse right there. And then two zebras, a girl, the two dogs, and the blue goose. And I think this might be a rhino maybe down at the bottom, or cow. Haley's out. All right. Thank you so much. Let's call it to Ishara for 15. All right. We're going once. This keypad is not user friendly. No, I hate going it. Twice. Um, would you rather use my phone? No, it'll work. I'll get used to it. Fair warning. Even my giant iPad is different than this. <laughs> And we are sold. All right, sold. And I will bag these up individually so they don't, like, clank or anything. I just did it like this for the show. Okay, then this lot, there's only nine in this one, okay? So, again, we're going to start it at $5. And this one you have a blue goose, a snowman a green parrot. Um, this white thing right here is a Liberty Bell. Let me see if I can show you that right there. Liberty Bell. Then you have a spaceship. 
you have a zebra like in the other one. All right, Haley's in at five. Thank you. Looking for seven. Um, and what else is in this one? There's like a little lamb or something right here. And this is a lion, I believe, the back of a lion. So this is um, a lot of nine. Oh, you can still get them? Really? That's so cool if you buy the red rose tea. Nice. All right, I'll just leave it up for a couple seconds. We have Haley in at five, looking for seven. All right, let's call it. All right, so we're going once. We're going twice. A fair warning. And we will call sold. All right, thank you so much. Sold to Haley. Yay! Okay, then the last lot I have is of 10. And there are no, no chips or cracks on any of these. There was no chips or cracks on the other one either. Just the first lot had the teeny little chip on the chicken. Um, so this one is going to be a start of five as well. And you have books and like a graduation hat right here. You have those two dogs again right here. You have a sitting cat. You have that same green chicken that was in the other one, but this one is not chipped. A squirrel. You have an elephant. You have another lion. No, it's not a squirrel. I was looking at the screen. Um, actually, there's two of the dogs. And two of the cats. And then you have this guy. I don't want to, like, move him around too much. But then you have this guy right here who's a big fish, like, on the water. All right, Brenda's in first at five. I see you, Haley, but Brenda beat you, so you would need seven. But there is ten in here, so you have, and all these are in great condition. And I thought that fish was really cool because he's like a really big one. He's a big one. Um, okay, so we have vintage jewels, Margie in at seven, then Brenda in at nine. Thank you, ladies. Looking for eleven. And I will individually bag all of these. I just did it like this for the show, so I'm not fiddling around with a bunch of <laughs> glass figurines or ceramic. Um, hi, Gail. Welcome. We got some Wade figurines up. A uh, lot of 10. We have 11 right now with Vintage Jewels Margie looking for 13. There's 13 with Brenda. Looking for 15. Try to get that glare off of there. Fifteen. All right, thank you. Looking for seventeen. Brenda's in at seventeen, looking for nineteen. I'm just getting tired. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Susie, Dragonfly Bees, how are you? You guys can also do that promote thing if you want. If you type in hashtag promote. If you have a channel, my bot will um, put your link so people can click on you and subscribe. All right. Okay, so Vintage Jewels Margie is out. Thank you so much. Hi, Becky. Welcome. So let's count it down to Brenda for $17. All right, so we're going once, 
I'm going to put this down just so my <laughs> arms don't fall off. <laughs> Go on, twice. Fair one. And we're sold. Yeah, so, um... If you type that in, hashtag promote, your link will come up so people can click it and then they can subscribe to you. Hi, Ellen. Welcome. Hi, hi. Hi, Pam. Okay, guys. So let's do a little bit of Halloween. I have the uh, this Halloween jewelry from Brimfield that I got. Let me use my, are these going to fit on my card? Let's see. Kind of, not really. Oh, this one's missing the little, um, oh wow. my gosh, it has two different. Oh, you probably picked two different ones. I, okay. So we'll do this. We'll do these ones instead. Oh, lucky Paula. All right, have fun. Okay, so here we have these really cool Ouija um, earrings. They are plastic. They are black and white with sparkle. And we're going to start these at 14. And they are hook earrings. And they're just fun. Hi, Laura. Fun little pieces. Um, if you're going to a Halloween party or just going out for the day, or you can wear them whenever you want. They are two and a quarter inches long, but with the hook, they are three inches long. Let me put them back on the card. They are not very heavy, but you will definitely feel them on your ear. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Polly. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, guys. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. And they have like a little hole in the middle, like a like the real, like the real deal. Okay, and you put the start bit in. Fourteen. I did. All right, fourteen dollar start. Three inches from the ear down. Black sparkly. But if nobody likes it, we can move on. Hi, Joanne. I don't know if I said hi to you. Hi, hi. But these will be available if anyone's interested going, you know, for the rest of the show or if you want to email me. All right. All right. And then I have, I had the, uh, you know, what we can do with these. We can take off the ball and the, the, if anyone wants, I have black with the um, gold also. Okay, and then I have these earrings. Thanks, Susie. I got them done right before the summer ended, so I wanted to do like one last summer color. <laughs> these are also going to be a $14 start. They are just silver tone. They have the little hand. I wonder here, let me, let me, let me try this. Hey, Lisa, UFC, how are you? So you have the hand up top that's holding the snake. And then you have a red, um, I think it's just a plastic crystal. Okay, and they are silver tone. I see Haley in at 14. Thank you so much. 
looking for 16 and then let me get a measurement on these they're not marked i think they're just um like somebody probably handmade them where's my measury it's in my lap that's where it is so they are from the the ear so if you measure from the ear wire down they are four inches super cool okay i love the hand how it's holding the whole thing it's so cool you sleeping <laughs> All right, let's call it to Haley for 14. All right. Going once. Going twice. <laughs> My measury. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're all, yep, I changed them all to stiletto. Fair one. Yep, yep. And we are sold. All right. Sold to Haley. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Okay. What else do we have? So now we're about to go into the stuff over there. So uh, hand me something. <laughs> hand me something. Um, let's do some fall stuff. Hand me some fall stuff over there. <laughs> okay. First thing he picked we have a little pumpkin. It's brand new, has the tag. It is a little plastic pumpkin. I just thought it was cute. You can put um, like a tea light in it um, or, you know, candy if you want it on your desk. And we're just going to start them off at a dollar. Yes. Thank you, Susie, uh, Cindy. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thank you. So I don't know if it's the mouth is supposed to be like that, but he's got a little bit of, you know, orange coming through. He's a small little pail and he's going to start only at a dollar. Where's here it is. And he's about four inches diameter and about four inches tall, not including the um, handle. I just thought he was cute. And the bottom says just made in China. <laughs> Everyone will take a trick. I'll take a treat. Robin's in for a dollar. So cute. Looking for three. Yeah, that too. We'll keep it up for a couple seconds. Just thought it was cute. Ba -ba -ba -ba. You all right? <laughs> I'm working here. Oh, yeah, exactly. It'll make a cute drawing bucket for anyone who does giveaways. Nice. So do I hear Haley in for that one, then? <laughs> No, she says she has a skull bucket or she would grab it. <laughs> All right, let's call it to Robin for a dollar. All right. One dollar, one dollar. Oh, oh yeah. Going twice. Down there, I'd have to comment. <laughs> Is that one? And we are sold. All right, that's going to you, my friend. Thank you so much. And we'll stick with the pumpkin theme for a second. So I have this guy, but he doesn't light up. Um, yeah, I fixed him, I thought. No. And his batteries need to be changed. Oh, really? Well, I don't want to sell him if we don't know if it works. I fixed him last year. Let me see it. Okay. But you need a, um, you have a small screwdriver? Sell the next item. You have a small screwdriver to check? Um, maybe. <laughs> okay, so we're going to just hold off on that for a second. He's going to make sure it works. I was just going to sell it as is for like a buck, but okay. <laughs> so next up, we'll do, uh, I pulled these. These were, these were in my booth last year. 
um, but they didn't sell. So before I put them in this year, I figured I'd give them um, an option for you guys. Uh, these are skull salt and pepper shakers. All right, let me do the start bid really quick because I lost my co-host. We're going to do a start bid of $6 on these. And uh, one is darker than the other. So this one's like um, like a dark gray. This one's a lighter gray. You have the three and the two holes. Now there are a couple little pieces of like paint missing here and there. See there and there. So they're not perfect right there. There's just a little bit of paint loss here and there. There's nothing on the back. There's a little bit there. Okay, but it's not like super crazy. I just thought they were super cool. That one's pretty good. So basically, let's give a little rundown on. All right, I see Haley in at six, looking for eight. So on this one, there's a mark there. Eh, there. A teeny little one on his chin and a teeny little one over here by the ear. My memory failed me. So it doesn't work. Mm -mm. And then this one has the couple right here. Okay. So a little bit, a little bit of flaws, but I think they're cool and they are made in China with their stoppers. Oh yeah. That would look so cool. Splatter, splatter paint with black and gold nail polish. Oh my gosh. That would look awesome. If you do that, you have to send me pictures. Okay. Let's call these down to Haley. Okay. Yeah. These are cool. Once. And they're like a good size. <laughs> Go twice. Guys, we have 103 viewers. Yay. Thanks so much for hanging out. Fair warning. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We can also take requests if people have ideas of things they would like to see. Yeah. And um, thank you, Haley. These are going to you. So um, I have a Facebook group and I put preview pictures in my Facebook group. So if you guys saw them, you can request something. Um, I will put the link to my Facebook group in the chat. So if you guys want to join, it's free and we all just kind of hang out and you can ask questions, you can sell things, you can buy things. Um, there really are no rules except to be nice to each other. Um, let me do a share group. What is it doing? Okay. Okay. So there's the group. And then next up, I have this little guy. It's actually kind of a big guy. And he's metal. And he has a little sticker on the bottom that is from, it says Smart Living. And he's for a tea light. Or you can put fairy lights in it, like the um, the light up bulbs, so you don't have to put an actual candle in it. Hi, Steph. Welcome. Um, and we're going to do this one for a start bit of $5. And he measures 6 inches by 5 inches, not including the handle. Hey, everybody coming in. Welcome, welcome. Okay, I just thought he was cool. I put some lights in here. Woo. And he is metal. Hi, Penny. Welcome. And this little spot is... It looks like it might be like, um, it's not a chip or anything. It's like, on, it's like on the paint. So I'm not really sure what that is, but five bucks on this little guy. Unless he'll just go in my booth. 
We'll give it a couple seconds, then we'll pass. Super cute. All right, pass a Rooney on that. Let's put all the passes over here. All right, so this, um, I guess I guess you said, we tried to fix this last year. It does not light up, but I still think it's cool. And it's one of those like um, melted things. Hi, Lynette, welcome. So I don't know if anyone would be interested in this guy just for like decor, um, but he does not light up and I will just do him for a start of a dollar since he doesn't light up. There's his little top and the bottom. Now, do you remember why it, it wasn't working? Yeah, there was corrosion in the battery and I cleaned it up and I think the wire, the switch was shot with the wiring. Okay. So yeah, it won't light up and he is about seven inches tall by about six inches in length. Hi, New England thrifter. Welcome. And remember you guys can type in the hashtag promote and your link to your channel will be put into the chat and people can click to subscribe. All right, so we'll pass on this guy. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, let's do these. So these are Halloween cookie cutters. How fun. So I didn't even open it. Let's open it. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have the little witch. We're going to do a start bid of um, $5 on these. Hi, little fire. Welcome. So this is, there's a little witch. There's a pumpkin. There's an owl. There's a bat. There's a ghost. There's a moon and a cat. Kitty cat with his tail up. <laughs> and they all look to be in really good condition. I'm not even sure anybody has even used these. Hey, Margo, Vintage Peep Show, a go-go. Welcome. I just um, told everybody they can, if you have a ch if they have a channel, type this in to the chat and your channel link will be put into the chat and people can click you to subscribe. Hashtag promote. Okay, so it's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven piece Halloween cookie cutter set. Start bid $5. Comes in a little box. I don't really think they've ever been used. They look in good condition to me. We'll leave these up for a couple seconds, then we'll pass. Okay, Michelle, thanks for stopping in. Okay, let's pass on these. <clears throat> and let's try, since he's handing me these, we'll try these. Um, those were, I was doing them for five, the cookie cutters. You got the moon, the ghost, the owl, the bat, the pumpkin, the witch on the broom and the cat. <laughs> no, don't pass. She says. All right. Well, if you want them, just put five and they're yours. She said she'll take them and then send you a batch of cookies. Okay, deal. <laughs> <laughs> deal. <laughs> so those go to Margo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have these um, vintage shot glasses. Yes. Thank you so much. You got them. <laughs> 
So this is a um, little set. It's a little box of vintage shot glasses. And yeah, Kyle picked these out. Where did we even get these? I don't remember, but they caught. No, me. these are these are from Richard. Oh, weren't they? Mm. I don't I, remember. No, I thought I saw them and they caught my attention. Well, wherever we got them from. All right, so it's an eight-piece set. We're going to start these at $10. So this one says poor shot. Not really sure why, but... Because he's poor. Yeah, but how, do, how does that mean that he's poor? By the way he looks? I don't know. He needs a haircut. <laughs> Um, then we have Shot to Hell, little devil guy. And they're all in good condition. They all have like a little price tag on the bottom. This one is called a Short Shot. Okay. <laughs> they all say Japan. This one is a Double Shot. Okay, that one's pretty cool, right? Wow, they really sold these at Walgreens yeah, long, <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a gun shot. These are all shot, vintage shot glasses. Super duper excellent condition in the box. Okay, $10 start. Then we have a big shot. It's a set of eight. All Japan. I think these are, um, they might be redware. Okay, then we have the long shot. It's a little horsey. That's a betting joke. <laughs> Okay. Make sure you guys are subscribing to all the lovely channels whose links are coming up. And then we have the good shot. And he's praying. Okay. Super cool. Is that one? Nope. I think they're all in like perfect condition. Yeah, Hi, they're... Gianna. Welcome. Vintage Jewels. Margie is in for 10. Yeah, this is a really cool set. Even if you give this as a gift, it, it's like awesome. We actually considered keeping these, but we have enough shot glasses. Because who doesn't drink? <laughs> so there's the set of eight. Angela's in at 12. Thank you so much. Looking for 14. And the box is a little ripped right here. But other than that, it's good. Good to go. Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Debbie's in for 14. Looking for 16. Vintage Jewels is out. Thank you so much. Okay, so really cool piece of history. Collector's items, conversation pieces for the bar. That's what it says. You're going to do a shot before they go? No. <laughs> what will you What will have? What will have? A gunshot, a big shot, a long shot, a poor shot, a double shot, a... Um, what was the devil one? Oh, shot, shot to hell. hell. I can't read it on there because it's in red. Good shot and short shot because it matches with the box. There's, <laughs> Polly says, there's never enough shot glasses. <laughs> but usually when we go like away places, we'll get like a shot glass as a souvenir or like a magnet or something. Yeah, we have like a box of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Angela's back in at 16, looking for 18. Thank you guys so much. So many new faces. That's awesome. Welcome, everyone. Kristen has an amazing channel. It's something for literally everyone. Thank you, Haley. Jewelry at all price ranges, great deals of all kinds of goodies. A lot of these, um, a lot of these viewers came over from Johnny's channel. I've met a lot of really cool people over at Cajun Roots Reseller. Um, some came over from Margie's channel, Vintage Jewels. Um, so a lot of people all coming into one place and I really appreciate you guys. That's why I always give you guys the option to put, that's why I, I did this to give you guys the option and ability to throw your channel link in there. 
in the chat so everybody can um, subscribe to you. We can all just be one big happy family and friends and have a good time. Okay, so Debbie's out. Thank you so much. So we have Angela in at 16. Let's call it down. All right. Super cool box of Once. like brand new shot glasses. They're going twice. Fair warning. One shot, two shot bar jiggers. And we are sold. All right. Thank you so much. That's going to you. Okay. So I showed this once before. I'm going to show it again and I'm going to drop the price. Any scary shot glass sets? No, I didn't. I don't have any like Halloween themed shot glasses. I have a Halloween themed um, coffee mug though. Um, bring that over here. We'll show that one next just in case it's on the the desk. Okay, so let's do this one really quick. I have shown this before. Um, it says there is one in every crowd. It's a horse's. So I just thought this was fun. It is vintage. It's in beautiful condition. And I had it at 15 before. We'll do 10. Start bid $10. Really great. Um, gift or gag gift, uh, you know, uh, for a guy, you know, I think it's, it's a really cool piece. Like this is the tail. I just think it was, I just thought it was cool. It made me laugh. <laughs> if you're a lefty, then you sip out of the butt. Yeah. I mean, I can hold it. I'm a lefty, but I can hold it with either. doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. I just thought it was fun. It would make a, a funny Christmas present for like a dad who thinks he's funny or, you know, always jokes all the time. A husband who thinks he's funny. <laughs> a husband who thinks he's funny all the time. <laughs> just something, just something funny. And there is a lot of crazing on it. But that happens with older pieces. It just has to be cleaned out. This was in my booth, but like I said, I, I clear things out every once in a while. So this will be here. We'll keep it up for a couple more seconds. <laughs> All right, we will pass. All right, so I got this mug. This is um, like the Ouija board um, theme. It's made by Eye to the Sky. This is just a sticker. This comes off. It is black, and it is a large mug. Uh, the bottom has the Eye to the Sky. It's hand wash. Do not microwave. And we're going to start this at $8. And the inside is cool. Look at the inside. It is brand new. At least I think. I don't see any spoon marks or anything down no, it there. It looks brand new. Yeah. This is just paint. It's not like, you know, bubbly or anything. But I just thought it was fun. And it is definitely a bigger mug. I see Galena in at eight. Thank you so much. Looking for 10. So it stands four and a half inches tall and four inches across, not including the handle. So it's a big one. It's a big one. That's what she said. It's too early for those jokes. <laughs> and remember, this is a sticker. It'll come off. but I just thought it was fun. We'll leave it for a couple seconds and we'll call it down to Galena. Thanks, Steph. <laughs> yeah, I don't usually um, do my lives or most of my videos really showing my face. 
So thank you. Thank you very much. Fair warning. And we are so Yay, congrats, congrats. Thank you so much. Very cool mug. Love it. All right, we'll stick with the mugs for a second and we'll do this vintage mug. This is by Silver Phoenix. And it is a Scooby-Doo mug. And it says, Zoinks, it's morning. And we're going to do a start bid of this one for $6. And this one, it may have been used like once or twice. It doesn't look very bad. Like it doesn't look like there's like, you know, I would never buy anything that was like super grungy. And there's no chips or cracks. Everything's really nice. It's showing up more of a white, but it's kind of like, um, kind of like an off white color. And then on the bottom here, it says Hanna Barbera, <clears throat> made in China, printed in USA. And this one's a smaller one. So this one measures three and three fourths inch by three. No Scooby fans? <laughs> Zoinks, it's morning. Um, do all three of these. I have three. And yeah, I'll yeah. just I'll just do um a lot. No, uh buy it now. Okay. So the next items I've shown before. Um, so we're gonna do them as a buy it now. So Get your typing fingers ready, and I will drop the price. Okay, so we will pass on this. So, okay, here are here are the um, I have shown these one other time. They are the Betty Boop plush dolls. Um, you have this one that has the big heart that says "Love ya." There's only one thing, this little earring just got, you know, you just have to maybe glue it or sew it back up there. Um, I forget how big these were. They were either 13 or 15 inches. I think they're 15. Yeah, they're about 15 inches tall. And we're going to do a buy it now of $8 each. So um, if you want this one, you would say um, love ya. Just put love ya in the chat. For eight dollars, Betty Boop. Um, if you want the Hawaiian Betty, just put Hawaii. Eight dollars. Buy it now. And they're all in good condition, except that one had the one ripped little earring. So eight dollars Hawaii, and then eight dollars for the nurse. Okay. with her little garter belt. <laughs> All right, so those are eight bucks a pop. We'll put those over there for now. I'm surprised Dallas has not gotten to those. Mm -hmm. um, this I showed on Roy's channel. I can't remember if I showed this here, um, but we'll do a buy it now on this one. Just put beer in the chat and it's gonna be five bucks. $5 beer. It is a wooden, vintage wooden sign. You can hang it here. It is made by York Craft Inc. 19, 1969 in York, in York, Pennsylvania. Okay. And it's, you know, it's pretty big. Paula, you want the beer sign? Let me just measure it for you quick so you know. It's 12 inches. Okay, five bucks. 
Five bucks for five cent beers. Right? I wish beers were five cents still. I think we'd all be in a, a lot more trouble. <laughs> so, uh, never mind those. No, it's wood. It's wood. It's wood. So, you just put five bucks beer in the chat if you want the sign. All right, what's next? You do those on the floor right here. What's that book? This is a little piece of ephemera. So it's a little, let me see. It's a little diary from, I don't know if this had a year in it. Um. 1911. 1911. Oops, the paper just fell out. Calendar 1911. We're going to start this at $5. There's a little um, newspaper article and somebody wrote, uh, this is all like printed in the front and then somebody wrote in the diary. So that's on Friday the 6th of 1911. Um, they wrote seven above pleasant, something to see the cow. I don't know what that, it looks like a lot of, um, like weather, uh, like, or this one says Friday, the 14th, 1911 rain all day, uh, went to Hyde park, something eggs. That's close. <laughs> So I see uh, Vintage Jewels in at 5, then Steph in at 7, Vintage back in at 9. Uh, we're doing $2 increments. So Steph, you would need 11 if you're still interested. Didn't anybody ever tell you not to read someone else's diary? <laughs> um, so it's all filled. It's Like, I mean, it's it's really filled out. I mean, look. And then in the back, you have some Larkin coupons. I don't know what that is. Five cent Larkin coupons. I mean, you can't use them anymore, obviously, but it says Larkin Company, Buffalo, New York. Um, I see Stefan 11, Robin at 13, Stefan at 15, looking for 17. Vintage Jewels is out. Thank you so much. That was a lot of money back 112 years ago. And then I don't even know what this is. Let's open this piece of paper. I can't even read that. Let me see. Uh, May 3rd, uh, 1911. Hi friends, welcome. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff written in here. Super cool. Uh, Robin's in at 17, looking for 19. Can you blow out that candle? I'm starting to get a headache, please. One out there. Yeah, there's only one. <laughs> Three pigs from Charlie. Georgia, something spent the night, plowing corn, scarlet fever, home from New York, cloudy and windy, uh, yeah, it's probably a prescription, here's a receipt for a postal money order. Um, for $8.30. So it's pretty cool. You got this little book. And it is ripped right here in the front, though. But it's pretty neat. Um, I see Steph in at 19, looking for 21. Money order for $8.30. Now that's pretty much what a money order costs to get. Right. <laughs> um, I can't read most of this. Mrs. Emily Con Conklin railroad lawsuit decided against her. Skating rink dance. Mrs. Marietta Dietrich died at age 97. Pretty cool. 
I have old books in the shed, the Watchtowers Guide and all that other stuff. Steph's out, and I have Robin in at 21. Okay, so let's call to Robin. Thank you, ladies. All right. And let me put all this stuff back in here. So we're going once. Going twice. Fair warning. And let me put this back in here. And there you go. And remember, it does have that little rip. And we are sold. All right. So that's going to you, Robin, for 21. Very cool piece of history from 1911. Super cool. All right. You guys saw me um, thrift this at um, that estate sale. Brand new in the box. Uh, cobalt blue fan dish. Oh, I thought it was an actual fan. <laughs> no. <laughs> and we're going to start this at $5. Brand new in the box. Let me get a measurement. It is seven and a quarter inches by four and a half. Hi, Rusty. Rose is in at five. We're doing all right. We're an hour and a half in. We'll see how much longer we'll do. Hi, Latrell. Welcome. Um, Paulette, Rose is in at five. So if you're still interested, I would need you at seven, please. But brand new in the box. Uh, really great little trinket dish for rings or um, earrings. No need to be sorry. No need to be sorry at all. And it does come with the box. The box is a little, you know, worn. But there's no chips or cracks on this, right? I looked it over. Let me just look again. Yeah, and it's by Koyoto Japan. And it says, for decorative purposes only, not to be used for serving food. Okay, Paul, it's out. No worries. So we'll give it a couple seconds and we'll call it to Rose for five. All right. So then we're going once. Going twice. And with a fair warning. And put it back in the box. And I'm going to wrap this, you We're know, sold. before I ship it. So it's not going to bounce around in the box at all. Fix this. Come on. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now we have two little, um, like Halloween dolls. I have no idea what this says. It's in a different language. Here's the first one. It's a little witch. Here's the tag. I'll leave it up for a second. I'm not even sure what language that is or what it says. That's Spanish, babe. Bruja de la Suerta. Yeah, but it looks so, I guess so. It Can looks so it? weird. Maybe it's the font that's messing me up. I don't know. Um, all right, no problem, Haley. Thanks so much. Thanks for coming. Yay. Um, yeah, maybe it was the font that was messing me up. But um, anyway, so this little this little witch is going to be a start bit of five dollars, and she's got like her little dress on that's kind of coming off because it's only stitched in the back. But she's a little, you know, an old little doll. Let me get a measurement from the tip of her 
hat to her toes is seven inches. And there's her little feet. I think the feet are creepy. <laughs> they're maybe like a resin. And then she has hands that look like maybe she can hold a broom or something, but I don't have anything. Uh, stuff's in at five. All right. Thank you so much. Looking for seven. And what about if we move her hair? What does her face look like? <laughs> <Boom. cute. laughs> All right. So we got this one. So we'll give it a couple seconds and I'll call it down because I have another one. And the body is um, cloth, like, you know, it's a mushy body. And then it's got like the resin hands and feet. So we're going once. Yep. We're going twice. And a fair warning. We are sold. All right. That one's going to you, Steph. Thanks so much. What? <laughs> Did you say she's cute? Yeah. I must have missed that. <laughs> you said look at her face. Oh, and she's cute. She's cute. All right. Then we got this one. We're going to do a star bit of five as well. You're welcome. This one I think might be different. Um, she doesn't have a tag. Actually, no, they're probably the same because the feet look the same. This one's holding a broom. And there's her face. And she's $5 start bit as well. And she might be the same size. From the tip of her hat to her toes, she's eight inches. And she's got the, you know, the cloth body too. And it looks like maybe she was hung from something because she's got this um, string in the back. Five with Rose. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a good luck witch. Oh, good. Yeah, I was reading the card. <laughs> and then her jacket has like a little... Um, like floral pattern. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's cute. Looking for seven on her with a little wart on her nose. <laughs> we'll just leave it for a couple seconds and we'll call it to Rose. You getting my sunglasses ready? I'm going to wear these. They're mine. They're not for sale. <laughs> they probably won't fit you. They barely fit my head. I'll be cute in them. Okay, put them on and show everybody. <laughs> Count this down for Rose. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Steph's yeah. in at seven. Yeah. And then Rose is back in at nine. Looking for 11. Don't break them. You look like Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, send help. <laughs> they probably want to see. All right, Rose is in at nine steps out. Thank you so much. Let's call it back down to Rose for nine dollars. I have a little witch on my shoulder. All right, we're going once. We're going twice. Yeah, who should model the glasses? Me or Kristen? Go ahead, do it. Fair warning. I encourage you to. <laughs> I might want you to do it. They already saw me in those glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and we're sold. All right, Rose, this is going to you. Thank you, thank you. All right, come on, put them back on. No, we didn't get a vote yet. Put you them said, back on. You can do this. Come on. Do this first. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I also showed this in that estate sale um, video. It is a vintage set of stationery. It says it's scented, but it doesn't really smell anymore. Um, 
and if you guys saw the video, it actually only has one page that has the really pretty print on it and the rest of the paper is blank. Um, and then there are envelopes. There's actually two different sizes for some reason. Oh no, I'm sorry. There was one, one of these larger envelopes and then the envelopes that come with it have the little flower. Um, we're going to do a start bid of $2 because it, there's not a lot left. You know what I mean? Like it's not a full set. There is some discoloration. You can look like you're sending things from the past. Um, but it's still really cool. Yeah. I mean, it, it actually kind of smells like baby powder. <laughs> yeah, we got two votes for you to model it. So hmm. one vote for Kristen. No, it doesn't matter. It's still two for you. Even if you vote for me, he's going to be a brat and vote for me. So um, you have the one page that's like this. The rest are blank. Two dollars. Super cool little set, and if not, I'll just use them, I guess. Yeah, you always have like the card sets. Old Hallmarks. Oh, they say they're scented. Yeah, I know. I said that. But I said they don't really smell. And then I'm like, actually, they do kind of, they smell like baby powder. Smell them. Yeah. I can smell it just with it out like this. It smells historical. Oh, Latrell says Dallas. He's sleeping in the other room, though. <laughs> that would be super cute. I'll try to put them on and, and get a picture and show you guys. His head is bigger than mine. I'd be careful with that. I know, right? His head's really big. Um, and Galena says you, too. Ha -ha. <laughs> ha -ha. Thanks, Galena. <laughs> okay, so we'll pass on these. No worries. All right, come on, sunshine. Come on over here with your sunglasses that you want to be such a... Um, such a little sarcastic one about. <laughs> Karen votes for you too. I can't with him. So these were in the um, estate sale video as well. I think, what was I selling them for? Like 50 or 75 bucks because they are uh, real tortoise shell um, vintage sunglasses. If you look them up, they can go upwards of $300 on eBay. I will do them for a buy it now. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing this. Buy part. it now for $20. Okay. They are made in France. Made in France. Right there. I wore them, so that's got to be worth something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They are real tortoise shell. They are a little tight. I'm not going to lie. They're a little tight. So if you think you have a bigger head, like it, it, they are a little tight. So I'm just going to throw that out there. I think they are so cool. Carrie, you got it, girl. These are going to look awesome on you. You better send me a picture. I think they're cool. And they're blue, if you can't tell. Blue, blue. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, are, the people that are just viewing are probably, this girl is crazy. This is why I don't show my face during all of my videos because you guys are like going to be like, you are nuts. Okay. Those are going to carry super cool. Like I said, they're made in France. If you look these up on eBay, the comps are all over the place up to 300 bucks. So awesome deal. And they're going all, all the way to Australia. All right. So next up we got some table, tablecloths, napkins, <laughs> napkins. I showed these on Roy's channel. Um, for his vintage auction, they did not sell. That's why Carrie watches things. <laughs> they did not sell. So we will put them on here and I'll drop the price. So these are like a burlap um, tablecloth and they have a really cool like deer, three deer on it with this really cool um, like design and they're orange. So I figured you know, um, very fall and uh, Thanksgiving-ish. Hi, Belinda. <laughs> so you can tell like, you know, the burlap material. They do shed a little bit. I'm not going to lie. They're a little bit of a shedder. We're going to start these 
Actually, we'll do a buy it now. So let me just get the information for you. There's four of them. They're 15 inches by 10 inches. Buy it now for $8. 15 by 10. Four of them. Oh, you don't have swipe on? I don't use swipe ever. Never mind on my iPad. So 15 by 10, they're like a burlap material. Um, four of them. Buy it now, eight bucks. Okay. And if anyone's watching the replay, if things don't didn't sell, you can email me right here and claim them. Or if you change your mind throughout the show and you want me to uh, if you want to buy something that you already saw, you can still put it in the chat. That's fine. So we will pass on these. I think I'll, maybe I'll start doing buy it nows just so we don't dilly dally. Just kidding. Haley wants them. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, she said she had to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. Yeah, there's there's three of them on there. Aren't they so cute? I think these are cool. Um, yeah, so there's four of them, 15 by 10, eight bucks. They're yours, girl. Thank you, thank you. It's opening season next week. That's mean. <laughs> um, hi, Yana, Vintage Beauties, welcome. I saw Sue came in. Hi, Sue. Hello, hello, ladies. Thank you for coming. Okay. So next up we have, Dallas. we have Dallas. No, it's not Dallas. It's a pound puppy. Tell me somebody in this chat remembers pound puppies. Please tell me somebody remembers pound puppy. My sister doesn't. So she's too young for them. I think they're like a eighties to nineties. Well, she was born in the late eighties. So that doesn't count as eighties. <laughs> Um, so this is a pound puppy and he's in really good shape. I guess it's a she, I don't know if somebody put this collar on or if it came with it. I'm yep. guessing somebody put it on. Yeah, definitely not from it. Um, but she's in good shape and I think she's just got one little brown mark right there. Um, I'm, I'm 84. So I do remember these. Uh, so we're going to do a buy it now on this pound puppy. Let me just, where'd my, my measure fell. So it's a kind of a long one, 16 inches. Buy it now, $10. Just put 10 in the chat. <laughs> Haley was alive in the eighties for 34 days. <laughs> I was alive in the 80s for six years, but do I remember that? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, I remember the 80s. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> he was born in 1990, okay? Remember the 80s. <laughs> so buy now 10 bucks, pound puppy. Good condition, just a little, probably can just be washed off this little mark right there. Okay, we'll move on. But if anyone changes their mind, you let me know. Show that. Yeah. This one I also have shown before on Roy's channel. If you guys happen to catch me over there, this is a really cool piece of Maurice's pottery of California. It is in like new condition. It is a chip and dip set, chip and dip bowl. Perfect for the um, holidays, Thanksgiving. I mean, look at the colors. Look at it. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Nice, Sue. Nice. <laughs> so we're going to do a start bid on this one. We'll do a start bid of, I offered it for 25 on Roy's. So we'll do a start bid of 14. How's that? It is 11 inches by 
eight inches and it is there are no chips or cracks at all this is a beautiful piece of maurice's pottery perfect for the holidays you can put um like nuts in here and maybe some uh just chips or crackers or something you know dip um vegetables so really really nice Really, Sue? That's awesome. She was a blackjack dealer in AC in the 80s. That's awesome. Cool fact. Is that a chip? No, just glare. So super cool. Kyle's reading the book that I have coming up next. <laughs> interesting characters in here yeah you can get the other two books that are over there too and we'll do um we'll do some books books all right so we'll pass on this but it'll be here oh no psych. oh wait where rose oh rose see i didn't see it on stream yard the little pooper stream yard okay rose is in at 14. <clears throat> yeah i this is just so pretty and it is in beautiful condition. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. We're definitely vintage. Oh, yeah. Even Kyle's vintage being from 1990. <laughs> Kylie saw it after. <laughs> All right. Let's call it down to Rose. <laughs> Super cool piece. Going once. <clears throat> Gone twice. A fair warning. And we are sold. All right, Rose. Congratulations. This is gorgeous. Be careful with this. Don't chip it up. I'm very gentle. <laughs> All right. So I have a few books. Just three, actually. That's the first one. Huh? I have to get you the other ones. Yeah. So the books I can send media mail. So if you guys only purchase one, like just the book, the media mail, I think is like under $5. Um, so whatever the media mail is, that's what I would charge you because it's a book. So this is the first book, Contemporary Jewelry Art. So this is, was born in 58. Does that make me prehistoric? No, you're still vintage. <laughs> Um, so this is a very unique jewelry book. Um, there are all designers in here and it's separated by, um, you know, like the different, what do you call that? What? Textiles. Yeah. The I different guess materials different materials. Stuff. That's cool. Okay. And you have, so you have all those designers and the um you know separated by the different materials and then it shows you their work um i mean i really don't think we'll see any of this in thrift stores but you never know and i will do a buy it now on this book for ten dollars let's just put 10 in the chat or want Like this is Joanne Haywood. I just thought it was cool because it's different. I like things that are different. I mean, look at that necklace. There's a mouse brooch too. A mouse brooch? There's in the taxidermy one. What? There's taxidermy ones? Here, watch. Where? In the front or the back? In the middle. I don't right see there. it. Oh. Right that area. No, these no, aren't no, taxidermy. Okay, yeah. well, hold on. Let me show because I'm not showing anything. <laughs> I saw him. So everyone, you know, anyone that collects reference books, this would just be a cool book to add to your collection. You know, like look at some of those.
Um, so buy it now, $10. I mean, look at this stuff. And this is all jewelry. Yes, it could be um, a coffee table book. Okay, so here's the cover again. So if you guys change your mind, it's here, 10 bucks. Then um, I don't normally pick up cookbooks, but I was in the thrift store today and I walked by, oh wow, yeah, let me show There's that. There's a bunch of them, the pages. Here's back with that book, the contemporary jewelry. I don't really, don't really like that. But. <laughs> um, anyway, so I don't really pick up cookbooks. I don't really pick up books, but I was walking by the book section and this kind of stuck out. So I grabbed it and it's, it's a little book and it's the ABC of herb and spice cookery. So I didn't really think much of it, but I wanted to see the date on it and it is from 1957. And it is from, it was printed in Mount Vernon, New York, which is not very far from me. It's only probably about an hour, maybe not even. So I thought that was cool. And the recipes kind of sound cool. Like, you know, some recipes you're like, oh, I would never make that. Um, so, you know, you have all different salads and torts. Um, Hawaiian fried chicken, herb omelet. Uh, let me just look at the table of contents here. Oh, there is none. Is there a, an index? No. Okay. That's the fifties, babe. That's fine. But, um, yeah, it just starts with appetizers. So anywho, we're going to do this book for a buy it now of $6. Okay, it's a cute little book from the late 50s. Uh, Letty's Chicken Valenciana. New Style Baked Ham Macaroni Parmesan. And I just thought like the, the art was cool in it. And I know some people collect cookbooks, you know, potato pancakes, um, sour broughton, risotto milanese, French dressing, stuffed peppers. So um, just thought that was cool and that it was printed like under an hour away from me. So that's that. Six bucks. Next. Then I saw this one and I thought it'd be perfect for all my thrifters out there. So this book gives you ideas on like how to upcycle things or how to make things into other things. So like, for example, first let's get the um, date over here. I don't think I saw it in the beginning. I mean, it's in excellent condition. Um, can do it crafts, brown bagging it, spin the bottle. Uh, so it's all like different things that you can make with stuff that you already have or that you find. Like this is made with the cans like that. Um, you can do like sock puppets. Like there's a utensil caddy you could make out of those bottles right there. Um, you can make this little bag holder, plastic bag holder out of the soda bottles. Um, so this one I'm going to do for a buy it now, $10. Um, you have like this little chest you could make out of that stuff. So a lot of it you can make with stuff you already have at home. Or if you want to go find it out in the thrift store, if you if you're a crafter, like it shows you how to um, like re like reupholster boxes and stuff. 
Um, I just thought it was pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Then they have patterns in the back for ornaments. Um, for signs, like they have like patterns for different things. Um, they teach you how to do an ottoman out of a box. So just thought that was cool. Um, here's how you would do like the potpourri holder and stuff. So that's $10. Excellent condition. And then we have this. I mean, this isn't really a book. This is kind of like a notebook or sketch pad. This is um, like natural paper, I guess you would say. And it's bound with string. It's the same on both sides. And the paper inside is like that natural paper. Okay. And it's, I'll measure it. Keep losing it. 11 by eight and a quarter. And we're going to do a buy it now, $8. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do some crystals next and maybe I'll dabble into some jewelry. I have shoes too, so we'll show, show some shoes as well. So this is buy it now, $8. Um, we're gonna skip this because it's it's like Christmassy. So skip that for now. Um, let's do some crystals and then we'll do some more Halloween and fall things and some shoes and we'll see where we go. All right, so this guy is an aventurine dog. I wanna see if somehow I can get a background behind it. He's a aventurine and he's a dog. And we're gonna do a a uh, star bid of $8. And I'll give you measurements. He's a little one. He's one and a half inches. The crystal cat. I think this is what you meant, right? I don't have a cat. Oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> All right, Rose is in at eight, looking for 10. Yeah, this is a Venturine. Little doggy. All right, we'll give it maybe five seconds and we'll call it down. Keep it moving, moving. Sure. <laughs> so we will say going once. Put this going down. Twice. Oops, didn't press enter. A fair warning. And with that, we are sold. All right, Rose, let's go to you. Thank you so much. Okay, so then let's do the Moss Agate Elephant. I thought this was um, Amethyst for a second, but it is Moss Agate. I did look it up. Um, and they come in like a variety of sizes. I mean, colors. And let me give you a measurement on this one first. I did pull all, like these out of my booth. I have like a ton of crystals in there. Um, it's one and a half inches and we're gonna start him at 12. His little butt. Mm. 
All right, just a couple seconds and we'll pass. All right, pass on that one. Next, I have a flower agate tower. It's a smaller one. I'll measure it. I always look everywhere else but my lap for the measuring. Two inches. And we will do a start bid of $5. It's hard to show smaller things up like this. All right, thank you, Galena. Five, looking for seven. Um, if you want, you can, you're going to let Dallas out soon. Yeah, he's still sleeping, so I'm going to let him hang for a bit. All right, Rose is in at seven, looking for nine. Yeah, flower agate, super pretty. Super pretty. And then on the top here, you have like a little different color here. Oh, thanks, Karen. <laughs> and then right here, there's like a little <clears throat> truzy. I think she was talking about me. <laughs> yes, Kyle, you looked fabulous in them as well. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we'll give it a couple seconds and we'll call it to Rose for seven. All right. So we are going once. We are going twice. Oh, Galena's back in for nine. All righty. Thanks, Galena. Looking for 11. Rose is back in. All right, 11 with Rose, looking for 13. Got to click on it. Got to click it. Thirteen with Galena. Thank you. Looking for fifteen. Fifteen with Rose. Looking for seventeen. All right. Oh, Galena's out. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Let's call to Rose for 15. Right. I have more. The next one, um, I'll do a lot because they're um, a little bit smaller. Going once. I was trying to get to the numbers. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> going twice. And we trying to send a purple heart. Fair warning. And we are sold. All right. Congrats to Rose. Okay. So the rest of the stones are a little smaller. Um, so I'm going to do a lot. So we have, this is going to be also hard to show because I can only show one at a time. We have a, an amethyst cluster. Um, can you maybe shut off one of those lights? Cause with the crystals, it's like, super duper bright. 
Yeah, maybe try that. No, 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 too much. Yeah, just try that. So you have the amethyst cluster. Uh, you have a raw moss agate. Um, this lot is going to start at $10. I'm not sure what this one is. Um, I forget. I want to say carnelian, but I don't think it is. Because it has like, I think it's a it's an agate. But there's that in there. And I, I don't know what this one is. I forget what this one is too. Probably a jasper. It's got like... Um, dark green on it too. So that's in there too. I have this one, which is Kiwi Jasper. It's an agate. Yeah, that's what I figured. Thank you. Thank you. So we have a nice chunk of Kiwi Jasper. Oh, excuse me. Kiwi Jasper. And then I'm going to throw this one in. This is, um, geez, I always forget the name of this one. Hold on. It is rainbow titanium quartz and it's a tower and I'm throwing this one in because the tip is, has a little chip out of it. But if you, if you keep it on this side, you can't see it. So this has, um, the rainbow, uh, titanium quartz. It's like iridescent. So that's six pieces for 10 bucks. Yeah, so you get all six for the 10. And we've got the in. So if you keep it like this, you won't see the little chip out of the, the point. And it is uh, rainbow uh, titanium quartz. So let me give you measurements of each thing. Uh, the titanium quartz is two and a half inches. <sighs> The amethyst is two inches. The kiwi jasper is an inch and a half. The agate is an inch and a half. Whatever this mystery green one is, <laughs> is an inch. And the raw um, moss agate is an inch and a half. All right, so we have D in at 10, rose at 12, D at 14, rose at 16, looking for 18. Hi, Irene. Kyle's right here. Hello, Come say Irene. hi. <laughs> you missed me modeling the glasses. Yeah, he was uh, modeling some sunglasses for us. <laughs> so you get the um, six stones. For one price. And D's in at 18. Rose is in at 20. Looking for 22. I don't know really how to hold these up. <laughs> And all right, D. <laughs> D is out. Thank you so much. Let's call it to Rose for 20. All right. So you get a nice little pack of crystals. And I pulled all of these out of my booth because, like I said, I like to keep my booth fresh. Go on twice. And, you know, move stuff around. And with the fair warning. And these um, bag individually, yeah. please. We are sold. Um, okay. Yay! Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So that was the last of the crystals. Um, what else do I want to do? We Let's do some more uh, fall and Halloween really quick because I have all that right behind you. You want this? Ugh. Sure. So this is a vintage pop melted popcorn um, decor. These um, are very sought after. Uh, it has, I mean, I don't know. I guess somebody put that on the top. You can take it off. But that's, I guess, how they had it held. Uh, we're going to do a start bid of $10 on this. All right. It is, I sell these, um, I've sold a couple of these, not Halloween related. I sold a couple of these on eBay for like 30 bucks. And it is quite, quite large. 
it measures 17 inches by 12. And uh, $10 carpet. Melted popcorn uh, decor, Halloween decor. I just kept this on here. I don't, you know, that's the way I bought it. You can cut it off. And maybe, maybe after this, I'll try to do a giveaway and we'll see if I can get that StreamYard giveaway tool to work. Oh yeah. All right. So $10 start on that if anyone's interested. Let's try this giveaway. So what we're going to do, let me explain everything. Where's the other? Oh, I had earrings for the other thing. It's Halloween. Who else is excited for candy corn season? Just kidding. No candy corn. <laughs> Where is, oh, I keep losing. I keep not being able to see this. Okay, so we're going to do a choice of giveaway items so you have this is your choice one you have a uh, silver tone chandelier earrings with purple uh faux halite all right very 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 excellent condition or you can choose a vintage beaded i guess like raspberry purse little coin purse okay or you can choose five dollars in credit good for one month okay so this is how we're gonna do it at least this is how i'm gonna try to do it you're gonna type into the chat i think you have to start it first no hold on give away just like that so just like i have in the chat you're just going to type it one time hashtag giveaway that's it one time and you it has to be exactly how i have it and because that's how the stream yard is going to pick up um a winner all right so hashtag giveaway and i'll give you guys like you know a minute or two to get your comment in and then we're going to see if this works and if it doesn't i'm going to be a little upset <laughs> <laughs> so will the 80 people that enter yeah <laughs> well we'll figure out a different way then all right so while you guys are doing that i'm actually going to run to the ladies room so get giveaway in get giveaway in one time you only have to do it one time I figured we would have a lot more entries pouring in. Okay. You guys just saw I have, I don't have jeans on. <laughs> okay. Uh, she said Galena has a typo. Yeah, it has to be exactly how I wrote it. Hashtag giveaway. I'm going to give you guys another minute to get your entry in. Let me start the stopwatch. Okay, so in one minute, I will stop and we will try this. And we'll see. We only got 25 entries. Wow, out of 83? Yeah. That's because we have some workers, I, I bet. I don't think people want free stuff. We have, we have some workers probably that don't want us to know that they're here. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello to everybody. 
So we have 30 seconds and then we will try to see if this works. Yay, 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 yay. 20 seconds. Make sure everyone typed in hashtag giveaway. You need an air horn for you start just right. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. I'm just kidding. Okay. So let's try this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen, share screen, <clears throat> choose what to see. Let's just do the entire screen. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see my screen now and we're going to go to giveaway tool and I'm going to type in the secret code hashtag giveaway. Start collecting comments. All right, so 29 people entered. And you're one of them. Well, if I get chosen, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'll redraw. That means I win the prize. <laughs> so no, somebody else will. <laughs> okay, so let's draw and see who wins. Oh yay, it's working. Oh yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Who's it gonna be? Vera! <laughs> yay, that was really cool. Okay, so let's go back to here. That was so cool. Okay, what happened? Some Everyone's saying, sorry to carry my laptop just wiped out my assignment. Oh no, don't you hate that? That happened to me once in college. I had, it was like a 20 something page paper that I was about to finish and yeah. Okay, Irene says you are the prize. I'm like the third, third place prize. <laughs> Okay, Vera, Runner let us up. know, <laughs> let us know what you would like. The vintage beaded coin purse, the earrings, or the $5 credit. Good for a month. Let us know, let us know. She's going to pick the coin purse. All right. Thank you so much. That was cool. Yay. Okay. So now let's put this with Vera's stuff. I don't have them sorted. Oh, you don't have it sorted? Then just put her name on it. That's yeah. fine. Yay! So that's, guys, that's so much easier than everyone picking a number and we're trying to find the number. I like the intensity of the number. You can do that then. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing it this way. <laughs> um, okay, cool. That was awesome. All right, let's keep going. So what's this that we're going to show? We're going to do, we're going to do a glass pumpkin. This is by... Two's company. <laughs> Carrie said you're the booby prize. <laughs> that was great. Depending where you're from, that can be a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> okay, so we have a glass pumpkin by Two's company. Um, it's got like a bunch of bubbles at the top. You can't feel them, but you can see them. And it's beautiful. And let's see what the measurements are. Uh, four and a half inches length by about four and a half inches tall. And we're going to do a buy it now. Okay, remember, buy it now. So first one to put the price in the chat wins. We're going to do six bucks. Six dollars for the glass pumpkin. That's cheap. I thought it was going to go more than that. I like doing deals. Deals on deals on deals on deals. Glass pumpkin, six bucks. Put it in the chat. I see Vera first. All right, you got it. Thank you so much. Oh, we got salt and pepper shakers. Only one so far. Oh, there's two sets? Okay. Yeah. No, that's an owl. Oh, <laughs> it looks like a pumpkin butt. No. <laughs> I'm trying to sort it out, but... You're taking too long! <laughs> Let's do these instead, because I see the match right here. Okay, so these came from my booth, too, from last year. I didn't put them back in this year. Oh, no, these... Nope, this is broken. This got broke on the bottom. Nope, garbage. Should have did. 
Those were broken. Okay, let me find the pumpkin. Oh, that was a buy it now. Sorry, Angela. Yeah, I'm going to mix it up. We'll do buy it now, so we'll do auctions. That's what I was after. All right, so here's the pumpkin salt and peppers. You have a lot of salt and peppers in here. Okay. So they used to work for my booth last year. I didn't even get to, get to put them in. You guys are getting first dibs. So they are made in China. They have their stoppers. All right. Nice glazed uh, pumpkins. I love the way you two talk. You're so married. <laughs> um, we'll do a buy it now. Okay. First one to put the price in the chat. Buy it now. $5. Five dollars and five in the chat, and they're yours. They just need to be clean. They got some glue on them from the my sticker. And if you really want to be creative, they can be his and hers pumpkin spice shakers. Why pumpkin spice? For your coffee. <laughs> All right, I see D in first. You got it. Five bucks. They're yours. This one, this, these don't go. These two. I know. Oh. This one's next. Okay. Okay. Next one are these are more of a Thanksgiving salt and peppers. These are little um, squirrels with like a little pilgrim outfit. They're holding some food. They're kind of like that bisque kind of um, ceramic. Really, really, really nice condition. They are. A little bit smaller. They're about three inches. No chips or cracks. All right. So pay attention. We're going to do buy it now, but it's going to be a different price. It. Oh, you got it. We're going to be do a buy it now. And we're going to do $4. You just said you okay, were. I'm ready. <laughs> buy it now, $4. Put four in the chat. D got it again. All right. Those are yours. Thank you. Thank you. We'll do one more. Let me just take my booth stuff off of it. All right. So the next ones. Hi, Kristen. From, oh, how are you doing, Kathy? Are you all right? Uh, next up, we have these leaf ones. No chips or cracks, right? Let me make sure because they've been in a box. Good to go. Do you want any more salt and peppers or are we done with them? Um, well, how many more do we got? They have their, they have their stoppers. Mm -hmm. These are... Three inches. These ones are pilgrims. Three inches on these. And you ready for a bite now? No. Buy it now, five dollars. You just put B I N. Buy it now. B I N. <laughs> Let's see the look he's giving me. I'm new at this. It's my first auction. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Leanne got it. All right, Leanne. Five bucks. You got him. You got them. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hang on while uh, we have catch up going. Okay. Ready for the next ones? In one minute, I'll do bin. B I N. Go. Like bingo. Next up, we have these little, they look like little gourd um, owls. That's just the tape. I'll take that off. It held the um, my booth information on it. There's no chips or cracks. They are ceramic glazed. And we're going to do a buy it now on these. $6. Put six in the chat. I got to change it up. I can't do the same price every time. So you guys can't be ready. And these are three and a half inches and three inches. Leanne's got it again. All righty. 
Thank you, thank you. All right. Ba -ba -ba -ba. You can, it's okay, you can take your time. Take your time. Uh, Leanne, I don't think I have your information. Um, I might, but I'm not pulling your name up. So if you can maybe remind me of if you have a different name that you might be under, or if you can please um, fill out the form in blue at the top of the chat, or maybe you did already and I just don't have my emails open, but I need your info in order to move forward. Cause usually I don't accept bids if I don't have your info. So please send it, please send it. Okay. Let's see what else we got. We'll do one more set, right? This is the last set. Yeah. Oh, so you might not have it cause it's been a while. So this is because you have the new system now. Yeah, I have. Yep, it's different now. Let me just see something. Let me look one other place. Yeah, no, it, I didn't bring it over. Oh, wait. Okay, so I have your I have your address. Um, I just need your email. So if you just want to either email me at this address, email address, um, I just didn't like save you into my new system, but I have you in my pirate ship system. Um, cause I have you for a PO box. Um, so if you just want to either fill out the form at the top or send me an email here so I can email you, um, the invoice, but I do have a, an address for you. Okay. So last, um, salt and peppers are these pilgrims. These are a little bit larger. Okay. They're in good shape. They just need to be cleaned. They're from Publix That's supermarkets. Florida. 2003. Yep. Um, and they measure four and four and three fourths and four and a half inches. Hi, Letitia. Welcome. Um, and we're going to do a buy it now on these. Six dollars. Put six in the chat. Angela got those. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. 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 All right. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Um, let's do the rest of, let's do more stuff over there. Put this back for now. And when you have a second, grab the rest of the, um, fall stuff that's on the floor behind you and on the, um, shoe boxes and on the desk. We have more fall and, uh, la 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 Halloween stuff. No just put them right down oh, here yeah. for now because you have to do you want me to do start bids no or buy it now so whatever okay so next up we have some decor this is brand new with the tag he's a cat <laughs> he's got this long tail it's what do they call this tinsel tinsel decor he's got the eyes the um Whiskers. Are they googly eyes? They are googly eyes. <laughs> okay, and you can hang him from the string right here. Tinsel art. Is this an SB or a bin? This is going to be a start bid of six dollars. Six bucks for the googly eyes. And pack. he's fifteen inches tall. Okay, brand new. The back looks like that with all of the, that's how they get the tinsel on it. 
googly eye kitty tinsel art. I have a few more of these in different um, characters. Well, that's good, Carrie. <laughs> Nobody wants the tinsel cat. So then are you going to want any of the other tinsel stuff I have? Oh, no. All right. So maybe we'll switch to start bids. I mean, uh, buy it nows. So we'll skip this guy. And we'll do a buy it now. This guy has googly eyes as well. But giant ones. Let me take my booth tag off of it. This guy is bigger. Googly eyes with the ribbon. And you can hang him from here. And let me get a measurement. This one is 20 inches. And we'll do a start bid of $10 on him. I thought you were doing bins. Oh, sorry. Buy it now, $10. <laughs> His little feet. Okay, so I'm going to keep moving, but you guys can put, um, you know, you can put it in the chat if you want him. Because I have this guy too. This guy is also new. And he's a ghost. And he has his little uh, thing here to hang him by. And he measures 20 inches by 18 and he's going to be a buy it now of $10 as well. Okay. And remember if you guys are watching the replay, you can email me right here if you see anything that you would like that uh, that was passed on. Okay. So, 10 bucks on that guy. Then we have this little dude. Let me take my booth tag off of that one. This is a little sun catcher. Pumpkin sun catcher. Uh, vintage plastic. He measures uh, eight inches by seven inches. And we're going to do a buy it now, $5. Yep, I got it. Thank you, Leanne. I appreciate it. I did have your address, but um, uh, your information didn't transfer into my new system. So, hey, sorry. So $5 on the sun catcher. Okay. And then we have... What's your... You had... Hmm? Leanne wants a sun catcher? Yep. All right, we got you in first. Thank you, thank you. So grab that back and mark that for her. Yeah. Thank you so much. I see you, Gail, but Leanne just beat you. Next, I have this welcome sign with the pumpkin. It is wood. Okay, it is a little heavier, but, you know, like I said, I always try to get you guys the best prices for the shipping. Um, this one's really nice. It is 18 and a half inches by 13 and a half inches, not including the rope handle. Okay, super cute. Nice, very well made. And I'm going to do a buy it now. I got it in oh, already. Buy it now of 15. Okay, put that in the chat, 15. Okay, so that is that. 
Yeah, don't do anything from that bin anymore right now. Let's get the um, rest of the fall stuff going. Okay, I see Gail in first for that one. Thank you so much. So, yep, just grab that for her. She got the welcome sign. That was That's really nice. I like that one. Okay, so next up we have this little guy. Let me turn this forward. So he says, happy harvest. He's a little scarecrow. There's the little bow you can hang him with. He's got the little pumpkins. And he's got like, um, you know, uh, movable legs, I guess. So you can um, have him hanging or you can have him as a uh, shelf sitter because his butt is pretty flat and it has like the beans, like the little beads in it or whatever. Um, so this guy, what does his tag say? Decoration only, not a toy. Prima Creations 2014, I mean 2004. Lor Lorba Linda, California. Okay. Um, yeah, I can do some jewelry. I just want to get through some of this, some of these hard goods because I got a lot. So, uh, happy harvest. We're going to do a start. I mean, a um, buy it now of $10. All right, Carrie, good luck. <laughs> good luck. And thanks for coming. She wants to send a picture with the glasses of me wearing them. That's 10 extra. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Buy it now. $10 for the happy harvest scarecrow. Okay, so we will put him down too. Then we have, I don't know if I'll be able to hold up jewelry. We might have to do another show with jewelry because my arm is hurting. Well, I'm just switch. Yeah, because I have to do it um, with the face down camera because this, this is not going to work. All right, so we have a little wooden trick or treat sign. And this is just tape from where somebody had it hanging. Um, this measures 11 inches. And we're just going to do a buy it now of $5. Okay, so there's that one. Then we have... This welcome sign, it's wood. You have the little um, wire to hang it. And these are wood as well. And this has like a little burlap piece on the front. Super cute. Let's measure it. It is 14 inches long. And from the top of the uh, wire, it's nine and a half inches tall. And this one we're going to do by now $10. This looks pretty new. I don't even know if anyone used this. Super cute. All right, Leanne, you got it. I like this one. Oh, I like it. That's for Leanne. All right, then we have, take my booth tags off. These are little uh, tea light holders. Or incense cones. Yeah, or cone incense holders. You have the witch's hat and the um, ghost. So it's like a little set. The witch's hat has the um, stars and the moon cut out so you can see the um, glow of the candle. And obviously the ghost has his eyes and mouth. And then the backs look like that. So you can put your little incense cone or a tea light in there. Super excellent condition. No maker marks or anything. And we're going to do, oh, let me measure them really quick. We're going to do, these are 
three and a half inches and four and a half inches. And there's a little bit of crazing on the ghost on the face. Not that you're going to be able to see that, but there's a little bit of crazing on the face. Actually, is that a crack? Yeah, it is cracked, but you it's the crazing is you're not going to be able to see it, but I'll try the crazing on the top. You can see that little fine line right there. It is a little bit through the other side, if you can see that. So we're just going to do a buy it now. Two bucks. Two dollars. Put it in the chat. Two dollars. I don't think it really affects much unless you drop it. <laughs> Galena's in first. All right. You got it, Galena. Thank you so much. Galena's in. I see you, Mary, but Galena beat you. So thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, this, <laughs> this is so cute. This is a little squirrel dish or bowl, I should say. Um, I think it's resin. It does have some weight to it. It is super cute. Look at these little guys. There is nothing broken on them. They have the little acorns and the little leaf bowl. Okay. So this one, I think I'm going to, I'll try an auction on this one in case there's more than one person that likes it. It's five and a half inches um, length, six inches um, deep. And the bowl itself is about two inches, but with that squirrel, he's four and a half inches. Perfect bowl for candy corn. Yeah. So <laughs> I have to humor him like a child. <laughs> so we're going to do a start bid on this one of $6. Actually, I do. There is one little leaf that broke off on the back, but I just noticed that now and I don't think that matters. Where is it? See, now I can't even find it. Oh, right here. See that little piece? But it's in the back. I think this is awesome. Rose is in at six, looking for eight. I think this is the coolest little bowl ever. <laughs> Are we doing... We're switching to jewelry tonight or not? Tonight? No, I'm I'm not going to be able to do jewelry tonight. I'm already getting tired. I was already thinking about doing, showing a couple more things than calling it a night. I mean, we're almost at three hours. And four hours is usually my, um, my usual, <laughs> my usual time frame. All right, let's call to Rose for six. All right. We're going once. We're going twice. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that I can stick with you for four hours tonight. No. We'll show a couple more things, and then I'll do another giveaway. And then I'll do something next week. Um, next week. Sold. All right, Rose, that's yours. Thank you, thank you. Next. Next Thursday, Haley is on my channel for jewelry. Um, so I might just have you guys wait till then. Um, I'll show jewelry from Brimfield. Um, what else? Yeah. Whatever else that I've been collecting. So next Thursday, my channel, um, 7 PM Eastern standard time with Haley's jewelry and crafts. And then the following Thursday, I'm on her channel. Um, same time, 7 PM Eastern standard time. Okay. What else do we got? Let's, let's do this. I don't know if anyone is interested in the Lucite candle, the gold flex Lucite candle. You cannot actually light this. It's just for decor. <laughs> it is Lucite, but these are very collectible. Um, I mean, I think, I mean, they go for quite a bit online. Um, it's made by Mertex Trading, Brooklyn, New York. You can light it, but I don't recommend it. Yeah, we don't recommend it. Um, no. I know people collect these, though. With the wick... It's 10 and a half inches. We'll do a buy it now. Wait. 
Five dollars. Five bucks. Buy it now, five dollars. Excellent condition. It's just a little um the paper at the bottom from I guess somebody had it in something. All right, Leanne, that's yours. Five bucks. Thank you, thank you. Um let me see what is behind you still. Get get the bowls, the Pyrex. I don't know if anyone's interested in Pyrex. We'll show those two bowls, and then maybe we'll do some shoes and call it a night. Well, a giveaway, a giveaway, of course, and then call it a night. So this is, um, I think the pattern is called, hi, John and Maria. Hi, hi. So we're going to do a couple more things, and then we'll call it a, call it a night. Um, but we'll, you know, we'll keep going for a little bit. So I think this pattern is called forest fairies, if I'm not mistaken, or people just call it mushroom, but I think it's really called forest fairies. I don't know. I could be wrong. There's so many patterns. Um, I have two, I have the little one and the bigger one. They are in excellent condition. This is the Pyrex. 473. I don't have the lids, but it is in super nice condition. Even the inside, there's no like scratching. Um, nobody put this in the dishwasher. So it's really nice. And I'm going to do a start bid on this one. Start bid, um, $10. You can look these up on eBay if you want. I think I saw them starting at like 14, 14 and up. Oh, I don't have my thing up on here. <laughs> well, hi, Lisa. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. I have, if you're interested in bidding, you can fill out, there's a form at the top of the chat in the blue. Um, it's, you know, that's if you want to bid. If not, you can just hang out. That's cool too. And welcome. Thanks for coming. So we got the Pyrex bowl starting at 10, but I don't see anybody. I don't know if anyone would want the bigger one. This one is the 474. And this one has a, just a couple little marks on the bottom, like edge. But other than that, it's good. So we'll just do a buy it now on this one then of 15. Buy it now, 15. Just put 15 in the chat. This is the bigger one, but it does have a couple little marks on the bottom. No big deal. I just thought they were pretty for the fall. And I know people collect them. I don't think I've ever seen this one in thrift stores though. Okay, so that'll be available. Even if you're watching the replay, you can email me right here. Okay, what else is over there? Fish dish. No, put that back. Let me see what's behind you. Shoes. All right, grab those boxes. We'll we'll show some shoesies. So these are all brand new, guys. Look at brand new Bionics. All right, these are a size six. Brand new. I don't know if we get, we would have multiple people interested in these. Um, the tag. And they also come with insoles, if you want. With the tag. Comes with the pamphlet. So these are size six. Bionics are super expensive. 
The retail on this is $65. Vionix are super comfortable. They are comfort orthopedic shoes. Um, if you guys have watched me for a while, you'll know that these are super comfortable. Um, I don't know. I might have an 11. I have to look. Um, but we'll do a buy it now on these. Buy it now, 20 bucks. Size six. Brand spanking new. Size six, 20 bucks. Makes a great gift. <laughs> okay. I have a ten, I have a size 10. All right, brand new in the box. Galena will take them. Perfect. They're so cute. If they had them in my size, I would have bought them. So thank you, thank you. Those are to Galena. Is this the other pink pair? Get the other pink pair. That's the size. Yeah. So this is the size 10 that I have. Yeah, no, these are cute. If, if I, I said, like I said, if they had an eight, I would have bought, bought them. But these are size 10 in the same thing with the tag and the insoles, if you want. These are going to be buy it now, 20 bucks as well with the box. Brand spanking new, size 10, $20, uh, buy it now. Putting the tag inside, that's okay. Yeah, or do yeah. You want me to just slide it in the side. Whatever, it's fine. Whatever you would like to do. So buy it now, twenty bucks, size ten. Brand new. We have another pair of Bionics. I'm hungry. <laughs> I know. Right? These are size seven. Brand new in the box. These are different though. These are leather, um, like fringe sandals. Brand new though. I'll do 20 bucks on these too. Buy it now, size seven. I know right now um, on the East Coast, the season's kind of over for this, but I know somebody out there, it's still nice weather. <laughs> so brand new, size seven. You get the little booklet. Leather care book. Remember, Bionics are super mega comfortable. They're like orthopedic shoes. Um, size 7, leather, black. Adjustable with a buckle. Okay. Super new, brand new. 20 bucks. And these also have a $65 price tag on them. Um, well, I got a couple more pairs over there. One pair. One more pair. Yeah, uh, two more pairs. We have a size nine. Life Stride, brand new. Uh, these have, oh, it doesn't say the retail price on these. I'll do them all for 20 bucks. Brand new. They're like a gray cloth. Slip on mule. These are so cute. If they had these in my size, I would have bought them too. Um, size nine fabric. Super cute. I like these. I like them a lot. All right, size nine, 20 bucks, brand new. Life Stride. All right, then I have, these are not brand new. They were worn, I think, one time. These, yeah, these came from a family member. Actually, they she might not even have worn them because I don't see any wear. These are a, I'll, I'll say they're new. These are also a size nine. They're by Cliffs, which are also comfort shoes. They're by White Mountain. They're, are these leather? No, they're faux leather. White. With a little design there on the front. 
um, comfort little flat shoe with the little, uh, it's not a ruffle, but you know what I mean? These are me. Um, we'll do these for 15. Sorry. Buy it now. 15. Great. If you're, um, you know, working and you're on your feet a lot. Okay. Yeah. These are new. These, yeah, she didn't wear these. All right. Then these are used. These are slightly used. These are Gentle Soles by Kenneth Cole. They are leather. And they are size 7. A little slip-on boot with the elastic at the front. And these will be a buy it now of $12. They're in super excellent condition. It's just the bottoms. A little bit of dirt. But you guys know I always try to find you guys like the best of the best things. So these are leather and a Dallas hair. <laughs> but these are cool because they're slip on and they're elastic. 12 bucks, size seven, gentle soles by Kenneth Cole. All right. What else do we got? That bag, the black bag behind you. A couple more shoes. All right. I'll type in the first one and then I'm going to let that down. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. So these are a size 7. These are La Plume. These are also super mega comfortable. They are leather. They are black, right? Brown. They are yeah. brown. Brown patent leather croc. Slip-on mule. They are used, but they're in really, really nice condition. And we're going to do a buy it now of $12. They have a little um, adjustable Velcro right there. These are nice and comfy. Throw them on, and you're good to go. Okay. And then we have a pair of, um, what are these called? Bees knees. These are also very comfortable. And they are black with like a camo print. They are fabric. These are a size eight. Not bees knees, BZs. Jeez Louise, Kristen, I'm tired. <laughs> B E E Z E E. B, like the letter B, and then Z E E S. And we're gonna do a bite now 15. They are a size eight. They are, it says stretch fit. Super cushion something. They have the little patent leather on the toe. Midnight camo. Camo. I love this print. These are my size, so maybe I, I might keep these if nobody buys them. <laughs> these are cute. Super comfortable. These are really good sellers, you guys. If you see these at the thrift stores, grab them. I sell these like hotcakes on ebay they are used but they're in really good condition okay so those are those you guys like fry i picked up two pairs of fry shoes these are super expensive but they won't be for you these are a size 10 let me make sure yeah, size 10 Fry, F-R-Y-E. Yeah. They are a heeled mule, black leather. Um, there is a little bit of um, wear to the front. I will Dr. Martin Wonder Balsam them, <laughs> and they should come out really nicely. Um, there are just a little bit of scuffs on the heel. But as you guys know... 
Fry are super expensive shoes. There's the Fry. Let me measure the heel. Four and a half inches. And that heel has a little bit of scuffing. Um, so let's do a buy it now of $25. I can put these on eBay for probably at least 40 bucks. Probably more. Just giving you guys, giving you guys the deals. Okay. And then we have another pair of fry. These are um, zip tied together. So let me undo that. And these are boots. These are a size seven and a half. Check these out. They are like a chestnut. Oh, you can put the other lamp, the light on. That's oh. I'm like, I can't see these. <laughs> That's a little bit better. Jeez. So they are like a chestnut brown boot, suede booty. All right. They're in um, really nice condition. They're suede. So they're going to look a lot more messed up than they really are. I honestly hate photographing suede yeah, or like the camera is always bad. Ugh, the it. camera makes it look awful. Um, these look, I mean, they look pretty bad on camera. They're not, they're in really good condition. Um, the suede is just super hard to photograph. Um, but like I said, size seven and a half, pretty good condition on the bottoms. Um, there's no like scratching in the suede. Like everything's really nice. Um, the total boot height on them is eight and a half inches and I'll do a buy it now of buy it now 45. Yeah, these are really, 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 really nice. Super nice. And then you have the little fry on the each ankle. Okay, so there's that. All right, that's all the shoes that I have. Let me just look around. Um, like I said, I'm proud I'm not gonna do jewelry tonight. I'm sorry. It's just um I didn't realize how like physically exhausting this is. And I want to make sure to give you guys like a clear view and do it like face, camera face down because showing you guys detail on this camera is not good. So you'll have to wait till next Thursday. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, Vintage Hippie. How you doing? Thanks for coming. All right. So I think that's gonna wrap it up. I still have a whole bin of stuff. Um... We'll have to do it another night. Let's do a giveaway. So we have the options left are the earrings, silver tone chandelier earrings with the um, faux purple, uh, ba 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 ba, halite, or we have the five dollar credit left. Okay, so. Yeah, uh, this I'm tired. My neck hurts. Jeez Louise, I need to figure out like a better, uh, <laughs> all right. So let me go back into the, uh, stream yard giveaway, stream yard giveaway, and we're going to do another giveaway. I shouldn't have clicked out of it. What? Oh no, I'm, I'm doing another giveaway. Okay. So this time we're going to do, you guys are going to type into the chat. Nope, not giveaway, Gail. I'm going to pick something else. 
I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to say, uh, we're going to do Wednesday, Wednesday. Okay. So type Wednesday, hashtag Wednesday into the chat like that. Since it's Wednesday. Oh, thanks, Little Fire. Thanks for coming. So type hashtag Wednesday into the chat, and we will pull for the next giveaway, the last giveaway. And I will give you guys two minutes to get your hashtag in. And I'm going to check and make sure everybody has the correct spelling and everything. If you're able to just copy and paste, that would be the best, best way. The best way to do it. I'm checking, make sure everyone's good. Hashtag Wednesday. I'll keep this up on the screen. We have um, a minute and 20 seconds left to get your hashtag in the chat. Get your hash browns. Hash browns? I want hash brown. No, I don't want <laughs> Yes, you do. No, I can have them tomorrow for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Does it matter caps or not? A couple of people have the W capped. I would do all lowercase just to be safe. I'm not sure if... It matters, but I would type it just like I have it, just in case. So somebody did uh, with the caps. Oh yeah, Yana, your vintage beauties. Try it with all lowercase because I'm has not one sure. With all lowercase. She does. Okay, good. Yep. Okay, good. I see it. It shouldn't be case sensitive, but you know. No, it should. I think it is because uh, you have to make sure it's exactly how you write it. I mean, it doesn't say that, but, you know, I don't know. I always want to be safe and sorry. Okay, so we have 20 more seconds to get your hashtag in. <laughs> John says, mm, hash browns. <laughs> 10 seconds. 5 seconds. All right, that was your 2 minutes. So let's get my um, screen sharing up. Share screen. Whole screen. All right, you guys can see it. So we're going to do hashtag Wednesday Day. Collect comments. So we have 17 of you that entered for this giveaway. And let's see who the winner is. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? The winner is D. Yay! D's the winner. All right, my friend. Let me close out of here. Let me stop sharing the screen. And which one would you like? The earrings or the $5 credit? Earrings or $5 credit. I like this way giveaway way better. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny is has it all um, like super professional and he has a song that goes um, along with it and everything <laughs> like that he presses. I'm not that fancy. So I'll just sing. <laughs> I'll just sing until it, it picks the winner. D says earrings, please. Oh, right. You got it, my friend. All right. Let's put that with D. And you know what? Let's draw another winner for the $5 credit. How about that? Because I love you guys and you deserve it. And we're going to pick another winner. So for this winner, look, I clicked out of it again like a dork. <laughs> Stream yard giveaway tool. Okay, so this time, if you would like to win a $5 credit good for one month, you're going to type in hashtag 
give me five, okay? But look how I spelled it. So make sure you write that exactly in the chat. Give me five, G-I-M-M-E-F-I-V-E -E, with the hashtag. Give me five to win $5 credit. And I'll put your name here and it will stick right up on my next to, <coughs> next to my computer. Make sure it's exactly how I have it typed. Let me make sure everyone's doing it properly. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good, good. So let me do a two minute countdown for everyone to get their hashtags in. Give me five, give me five, give me five dollars, give me five. I can come up with a giveaway song like he does, but I mean, he, I don't know how you guys do it. I'm so technology <laughs> dumb, dumb that I don't know how to do any of that. Mary has to ask, give me credit. Oh, Mary, you got to, it has to say, give me five. So change yours and Char, um, no space after the hashtag. It has to be exactly, it has to be written exactly like this. Hashtag G-I-M-M-E-F-I-V-E. -E. Okay, so just Char and Mary, make sure you fix it unless it's, I'm not, it, the um, program won't pick it up. You have one minute. Yeah, and this is done by the computer, so it's not like we can manually enter you in close enough. Right. Yep. It has to be exact. There you go. Good job. Mary, you're in. Good, good. All right. You got about 40 seconds to enter. Hashtag gimme five. 30 seconds. I think this is cool. I'm going to sit here all night and do giveaways because it's that much fun. <laughs> what else can I give away? <laughs> all right. You got 15 seconds. Dallas is the next prize, but he'll be expensive to ship. Right? Dallas will be super expensive to ship. He's gaining weight. <laughs> Me too, Vintage Hippie. I can barely, uh, I'm lucky I can barely even get videos uploaded. <laughs> all right. Two minutes is up. Let's get rid of my comment, go to share screen, share my screen, giveaway tool, hashtag, give me five, collect comments. We got 20 of you in for this drawing. Ready? Who's the winner? Dun, 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 dun. It it's is me. Angela. <laughs> that song was better, right? <laughs> Congrats, Angela. You win $5 giveaway. All right, let me stop sharing my screen. Yay. Okay. So. Angela, let me just get the right spelling of your last name. M-A-G-A-L-L-A-N. All right, so there you go. It's good until 1028 of 22. If you want, you can use it on your, your purchases tonight. Um, just let me know. Um, I will, I mean, I guess you can let me know in an email. I won't invoice you until, you know, or you can tell me right now if you want to use it or if you want to hold it. It's up to you. You can use it tonight or save it. Um, yay, that was fun. Okay, so I think that's it, guys. I think we're going to end it here. Um, I had a lot of fun. This was definitely a little bit new for me. I don't usually do stuff like this, but if you guys like it, I liked it. I'll keep doing them. Um, get a little bit of like a little bit of everything for sale, use it. Okay. You got it. So I will, uh, subtract five off of your invoice for tonight's purchases. Yay. Cool. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Make sure you give me a thumbs up on your way out. If you did not already thumbs up, thumbs up, subscribe. If you haven't already, it's free. Make sure you guys have your bell to all. So you're notified every time I make a new video. Remember, um, Friday's purse sale is going to be uploaded in the morning, probably 11 o'clock or noon, somewhere around there, Eastern standard time. Um, cause we have plans to go see Hocus Pocus two at my sister's house. He is not excited about it. <laughs> White girl movies. <laughs> neither neither is my sister's husband. So maybe the boys can go do something and we'll watch Hocus Pocus too. But okay, so um, I will invoice by tomorrow morning. Uh, Friday purse sale is going to be in the morning. And then we'll see you guys next week. So until then, well, I'll see you guys Friday, but you know what I mean. Thank you all for coming. I love all of you. I'm reading all your comments. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Okay. Have a good night, guys. We'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one. <laughs>